today I will be making a miniature Iron Throne, based on the one seen in House of Dragon. It helps that I'm using uh, the low temp option on this glue gun so it doesn't wreck my foam when I use it. And there we go, I got those glued together. And now I'm just gonna cut all the edges and make them square. Right, now I can move on to prepping the surface of our throne. Just to seal everything in first, I'm gonna spray it with some watered down Mod Podge first. Now that we have that figured out, I'm gonna figure out the size that I want my throne to be. I've got lots of excess foam left, so I'll use that to make the throne. All right, so I cut a bunch of random little pieces of foam here. I'm gonna put them in a little stack and glue them together and start carving out my throne. Here we go, I'll glue this little throne together and then start working on lots of little details. It's all gonna be covered up by a whole bunch of swords. So I just wanna get it the right shape so that all the swords will conform nicely and look a bit like the real one. Okay, next I'm gonna apply some modeling paste to the whole throne to give it some strength and some texture. I don't want to be completely smooth. I want to leave a little bit of texture so it looks like something like maybe granite. When you think about it, it's kind of like applying icing to a cake. I just want to get a thin layer on top. Okay, let's make some swords. If I use a soft hammer, it doesn't mark them up as much, which is good for some swords, but for others, I'll want to use a steel hammer so that it looks a little more damaged. I'll bake a bunch that look extra melty. I'll put some hot glue on it and hopefully it looks like some kind of melted metal. Now that I've got everything sanded down nice, I'm going to add a layer of Mod Podge and acrylic paint. It's always good to seal everything really good with glue and paint. I cut another piece of foam and put it under there 
to fill out the rest of the throne. I'm just going to add some indentations with the glue gun just to make it look a little nicer hopefully. And I'm just going to make a little bit of texture with some sandpaper here. Well the main base is drying. I'm going to start to add all the swords to the chair. All right, I got most of the chair done. Now I'm just gonna go around and fill up any black gaps that I could see. And I'm gonna take these slightly more detailed swords and stick them closer to where people would see. Closer to the front here. All right, I've got the throne mostly done. And now I'm gonna cover it with some more paint and Mod Podge. Now that I got the throne done, I'm gonna finish adding a whole bunch of swords to the steps and I'm just going to mark down where I want them to be standing straight up and then where I want them to be melting. I recently came across a huge amount of these bird spikes. I got boxes of them, and I thought they'd be perfect for little swords. Sword, sword, a couple more swords, more swords, sword, sword, here's some more swords, still making swords, I can't seem to make enough swords, swords. To save myself even more time, I grouped a bunch of these little spikes together, burned them with a propane torch, so now they look like little melty swords. And there we go, I think that's all the swords I want to put on there. Time to seal it with some Mod Podge and then add the first paint primer. I've got some metal grating and I'm gonna use that to make bars on the window. I'm gonna reinforce the back with some glue and foam.
Now I'm gonna add a little bit of detail to the walls, some lines, and then some stuff that looks like brickwork. And I've used the tip of the glue gun just to make little indents that look like nails or rivets or screws or something like that. I did some silvers and some browns for the walls just to get started and the rest I'll do with a brush. I'm gonna start with the light blue. And I'm gonna go over everything in some silver, some black and some gunmetal, just lightly brushing over everything. I'm going to start layering up some different shades of brown with a brush here. And I'll keep adding some black washes to the floor. I'm going to dry brush some red. All right, I mix up some different shades of brown and I'm gonna put it onto the backdrop. And I'm gonna mix in some black with all the wet brown. Hopefully when it dries, it'll look okay. So I've got some thin foam here. And we're going to trace out a pattern and make two Targaryen banners. All right, I've got some cardstock here. And I traced out a little pattern for the little frills on the banner. And we'll see if it fits. All right, that should be okay. I'm gonna go along and cut the little frills. Got some watered down paint and some Mod Podge. And I'll just do a layer onto both banners. All right, next I'm gonna cut out some of these Targaryen dragons and stick them onto the banner. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is, after I cut out the dragon, I'm gonna put some spray glue on the back and glue it to the band. Since my printer was running out of ink, the red didn't come out too good. So I painted it red with some acrylic paint and now I'm going to add back in some black details. Next, I'm going to add some watered down black acrylic and add a little bit of black around certain areas just to darken it weather it up a little bit. Gold paint marker here. 
And I'm just gonna go over the little frilly edges here. And there we go. That's the banners and I think the whole thing is done.